I don't know if you can see that far, but there's a uh, Slovakian flag there on top of the uh, castle or parliament building, whatever that is there on top of the hill. I'm sure they'll tell us today. And welcome. We are in uh, Bratislava. This is the uh, second to last stop on the cruise. Or you could say it's the last stop. Our next stop is Budapest uh, tomorrow. It's a nice piece of bark uh, floating down the river. <clears throat> so to, uh, this morning we have a, a little city tour to do. And then there's some optional things in the afternoon, but I don't think I'm going to do anything. And uh, so I look forward to seeing uh, Bratislava and putting my feet uh, on Slovakia for the uh, first time. All right, we're at the uh, top of the hill here in Bratislava. A nice view here over the Danube. Factories and the uh, famous bridge here. Yeah, they got windmills and everything. Well, over in that direction, the flatland is Hungary. It says it's 10 kilometers from here. And the uh, windmills over there are in Austria, which is 4K away. Yeah, tour guide said that in communist times they were too close to the borders for their radar jammers to block the signals. And apparently they could get some TV signals as well, and they used to watch Dallas uh, on the TV. Coming in from there, the uh, tour guide said they did a half-ass job on this. They didn't really finish that. Kind of did some standard looking good things there. Oh yeah, it's half assed, that's for sure. Alright, here we are in the uh, one of the main squares here in Bratislava. Church here, which is kind of in disrepair a bit. We need to do some fixing up on that. This is uh, Archangel Michael here. And of course they have uh, anti-pickpocket uh, warnings here. The dragon that sits part of Archangel The second gate was built behind a corner in the uh, uh, with a purpose. Uh, oh, yeah. And this right here is the slimmest house in all of Bratislava. It's like six feet wide. <laughs> it's the bottom of the circle. Something that we, some of you already knew. Yeah. 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 After a two-day long flight. There's another square in this building is condemned for now. It says someone uh, stamped to renovate me on it. The main square is surrounded by many very <laughs> This is the uh, Bratislava Magistrate building here. The mayor's office in here. There's the uh, courtyard here inside the old town hall building. This is uh, one of the famous statues here, the Man at Work statue. See all the uh, tourists here bending down to take pictures. So just coming down from the Man at Work statue into one of the main squares here. Right now they're setting up barricades because they're doing uh, the European Union conferences here. And so from the uh, 
concert hall there. It'd be a walking boulevard. Lots of good looking women here. And the gold is just gleaming off the roof. I don't know how well you can see that. Interesting little artwork here on the wall. And by uh, local artists here. There's another shot of uh, the cathedral. A beautiful uh, spire. We had a double city wall here. The first wall here was thicker and built in the 14th century. And the second one here, uh, thinner and smaller, was built in the following century. And then they filled the middle and it ended up working out good for uh, high strength, you know, cannon defense or whatever. Well, that's the end of the tour here at the uh, statue close to the ridge by the ship, so thanks to uh, your eye. And you can see right there, they're setting up for the grill lunch. I got my ticket for that, so I think I'll hang out on board for lunch. And uh, looks like we're starting the uh, lunch buffet here. Energy up in front of me. You can wait a few more minutes to get that hat here. You can come in typing. A press conference perhaps of some type. We got the sun right in their faces too. It's warm out. We're over 80 degrees right now. In a day and a half, the Slovak Republic will take up the presidency of the Council of the European Union for the first time. It will do so in a difficult time for Europe. The challenge is huge. It is an opportunity for the Slovak Republic to show its beauty, its liveliness, and its strength. And, may I say, I, for one, am convinced it will live up to that challenge. All right, so that's the end of the uh, big press conference there for the uh, EU Commission that's starting uh, the day after tomorrow, or tomorrow perhaps, here in uh, Bratislava. So they're done with the thing now. They're taking interviews. I only. Uh, Recorded most of the parts that were in English because I didn't understand it and most of you won't understand it. We'll be departing uh, Bratislava here unfortunately uh, somewhat soon. We've got some people having fun on their boats out here. So they can rent these speedboats from speedboats.sk if you're ever in Bratislava when it's warm enough. Incidentally, the, I'm processing a video that I was able to get up on YouTube. I found a link that went to YouTube that uh, the cruise ship wasn't blocking, so I was able to actually upload one here. We are leaving uh, Bratislava, unfortunately. It's a nice town here. I was glad to uh, be here with you. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to uh, pull out here into the middle of the river and uh, we're going to take a uh, 180 degree swing here, uh, maybe underneath the bridge and uh, then start heading uh, that way. So hopefully I can uh, show you guys the swing here. You can see right now we're starting to do the big swing. So I'm just going to keep it focused here on the back of the ship so you can see how fast we're going to turn.
We're about, uh, I think we're over 300 feet long and we're blocking more than half of the river. See there? Under the bridge we go. Everyone else now is uh, going to dinner. I'm the only guy on deck watching this. That's the uh, UFO bridge. It's the nickname of the uh, new bridge here in Bratislava. And there we go. I think we've made it 180 degrees. All right, so hope you enjoyed uh, seeing that. Uh, so long to Bratislava. Hopefully I can see you again. City of about half a million. Tomorrow we'll be in Budapest, which is two million. We'll have a full day in Budapest uh, with a morning city tour. And then on the afternoon I'm doing the uh, Hungarian wine tasting out in the uh, vineyards outside of town. So I'm excited for that. All right, so just got done uh, eating dinner, uh, flush with uh, excellent new wines. So uh, I did already prepay my gratuities, uh, so I don't have to worry about that. So there's gratuities for the crew. <laughs> and the cruise director puts his own separate uh, gratuity. Let's see if there's anything to see outside here. Not sure. Oh uh, yeah, we may be approaching the uh, big lock here. In fact, that's what we're doing. This is a... Uh, with vessels of our size, I believe they can fit four of them at a time in the lock, but I think we're really the only uh, cruise ship that's on the way right now. So why don't we uh, end the vlog here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please uh, like the video, share it to your friends, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I uh, finally got some internet uh, today, so I was able to upload a few more videos. And then I'm actually out, so I have to start editing more videos, and hopefully by the time I get to uh, Ukraine, I'll get some more up and running for you as well. So thanks again for watching, and uh, keep in touch. Uh, stay tuned for the next one.